So what up YouTube, it's Obeid again once again, I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to give you a full tutorial on how to use MetaTrader 5. I'm going to show you how to use MetaTrader 5, guys. I will go through all the details. Make sure that you like the video. Comment below if you have something that you don't understand in this video. You must also share the video. So yeah, <clears throat> without wasting any of your time, let me just go to the website. And not to the website, but to the app. And I will show you all the details on how to use MetaTrader 5, guys. So, guys, let's go. Okay, in today's video, we are going to teach you how to use uh, uh, MetaTrader 5, guys. So, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notification. And you must also like the video, guys, and share the content for the, so that it can reach people that need this kind of information. So, now, the, the very first thing is you must create an account with a broker of your choice. And the second thing is now you come up here on MetaTrader 5. When you open MetaTrader 5, sometimes it looks like this. It looks like these are the quotes, but it's the, we, have, we are already having an account. So let me just quickly go back. So the very first thing that you have the page, the very first thing that you have to do is you come to manage accounts. Eh? You can either go to settings at any, any of any, and then you come here to manage accounts after coming to manage accounts you click here on this plus button here up here once you come there then you to give you a list of brokers that you are currently use these are the brokers that i currently use guys so but only some of them but yeah now in this case we are using just markets i've opened a, 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 a demo account with just markets so now the second thing that you the third thing that you have to do is now click here on the search button on the search button you can write in any broker that you are having an account with any broker that you are having an account with you can search but in this case the broker is already there so we click on it and then it will write that just market demo and then the next thing that you have to do is that you click on login login is an account number that you are using the account number that the broker gave you so in this case we have two thousand seven double seven six eight nine eight and then in this case some of the brokers they give you they provide you password but in this case we made our own password i made my own password so let me just quickly put in my password you put in your password make sure that it's the right password because it will fail if you didn't put in the right password and then the next thing is you the next thing that you can do is uh, click here on login once you click on login it will go to the account that you have, that you that you created as you can see here that is my account guys currently we have 400 us um za it's a demo account guys it's a demo i'm just trying to give you i'm just trying to show you how to do it and then then the next thing that you have to do is you come here at the quotes now at the quotes here are the pairs that you use pairs that you trade in this case we click here on that plus button and then you come to forex market forex m we come to we choose euro usd gbp usd these are the only pairs that i trade guys silver and gold and then we come to crypto crypto i trade uh bitcoin uh bitcoin i trade uh bitcoin okay then from there these are the pairs that i trade so if you want to add or if you want to to remove some you just click here and then you click on this uh does dust, dustbin and then you choose the pairs that you don't want to see on your on the list of pairs that you trade that you like to trade so yeah and then you delete them and then it will be a list of uh, pairs that you trade with. so in this case now let's click on uh if you want to check the charts you just click here and then you click on charts and then the charts will come up now the next thing that you have to do is now if you want to place a trade guys if you want to place a trade it is quite obvious here it is quite obvious here you just click on sell a button here that's this is cell that you see here up here if you want to sell now let me check let me show you now how to sell okay we are selling okay you click here i accept the terms and condition and then you click on okay and then you go back again and then you click sell and then it will come how to place a stop loss now in this case you just click on the on the screen on the cell and then you see here you see you click on sl if you want to close you can just close or if you want to oh, to, 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 to put on a stop loss you click on stop loss and then you move this that thing you move this thing you see it shows the amount that you are willing to lose on this trade and then if you want to put a tp you click on tp and then you move this one anywhere you want to place it in this case we want to place it here and then you click where it is arrow 
with this arrow the blue arrow on the uh, right side then you click it and then you click modify then the trade is placed as you can see now you go to the charts or to the trade you can see you can obviously see the trades you can also check the history the amount of the deposit and swap and everything you can go to the charts here are the charts quotes these are the quotes so now if you want to go and place certain things or moving averages to the on the screen or on the charts you just click here you just click here i don't know why it doesn't okay yeah. then you click there once you click there once and then if you want to add anything there if you want to add anything you, if you want to move to time frames now if you want to move time frames m1 m5 m15 m30 h1 h4 if you want to move time frames you can just switch like that it's very easy guys it's not something that is difficult so now okay now the very next thing that you can do is now if you want to check if you want to go to the settings settings and put in moving averages and others and all that if you want to choose the theme also you can just go to the dark theme if you want the dark theme if you want the languages you can also click there yeah man but for now i'm not going through that so let me just quickly go back to the charts now if you want to move if you want to place a moving average you can just come here if you want to place a moving average if you want to put uh objects on the charts guys let me say in this case i want to put a rectangle so then if i want to put a rectangle you just click there and then you shift it like this you see the rectangle on the screen that is the rectangle on the screen guys so now the next thing that you have to do if you want to add a moving average if you want to move him to put a moving average you just click here if you want to if you want to put the indicator you just click here and then it comes to indicator and then if you want to put a moving average just come here moving average that's later and then you click here the moving average you choose any style that you want and then you set it you save you see this is the oscillator now oscillator indicator to the downside now if you want to move uh, the main chart if you want to add on the main chart you just click here and then you add the moving average and if you want to check if you want to change the period you just go click here and then it will give you the periods that you want to check now in this case we just choose a uh, 50 and then you put it on like that and then it will be obvious on this on the charts here as you can see guys it will be obvious on the charts if you want to remove it you just go back to that one and then if you want to remove it and then you just do like this and then you click here you do on a, on a window if you want to remove the moving average click here just click here and then you delete it okay and then you delete it like that it's quite easy guys if you have anything that you want to know about this what i will discuss on the radio drop your comments in the comment section share the video guys so that it can reach the people that need this kind of information and like the video guys so yeah thanks for watching guys